When a car sinks underwater, the doors lock instantly. The outside pressure rises faster than the pressure inside, making it impossible to open the door until the cabin is completely flooded. The Mythbusters decided to test this for real. They lowered a car into a four-meter deep pool, and Adam sat behind the wheel with no scuba gear. Water rushed in immediately, the air pocket shrank, and the pressure pressed the door harder every second. As long as air remained in the cabin, the door wouldn't move at all. Adam pushed with his shoulder, braced himself, but nothing worked. The door only opened once the cabin was fully flooded and the pressure equalized. But by then, the air was almost gone. Escaping this way is nearly impossible, so they tested other methods. The first, open the door early while water is still low. At ankle level, the door opened easily. At waist level, almost impossible. When water reached the window, completely locked. Next option, the window. Power and manual window mechanisms fail underwater because pressure holds the glass in place. Trying to break it with keys, shoes, or a phone didn't work. Only specialized tools succeeded. A rescue hammer or a spring-loaded punch delivering a focused impact that shattered the glass. The final strategy. Wait. If you stay calm, conserve air, and allow the cabin to fill completely, the door will open smoothly with almost no force. But this method requires patience and precious time. The conclusion, the door opens only after full flooding. But your best chance to survive is to open it early or break the window with a proper emergency tool.